Hi, welcome to Nourishing Body and Soul, the podcast. Get ready to revitalize your mind, body, and soul. We're here to inspire women who are looking to break free from old patterns and ideas to create a life of increased confidence and improved health. Say goodbye to limiting beliefs and hello to new possibilities. So kick back, get ready to have some fun, and let's dive in. We'll uncover tools and insights that can help you build a life that's truly nourishing body and soul. Hi, and welcome to the podcast. I'm Tracy. And I'm Victoria. And we're glad you're here with us. So here we are in February. Yes. Already. (laughs) Yeah. Just keep on ticking, ticking. Yes. Into the future. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Fly like an eagle, all of us, and be free. Yes, yes. absolutely. <laughs> Fly like okay. an eagle, let my spirit carry okay. me. Okay, I'm, I'm done. No, I'm really trying not to okay, sing, sing that right now. Okay, I'm not going to okay. sing. We're just going to go on here. Yeah. Okay. You can sing. <laughs> I, just, I can just like poetically say the words. All right. There you go. Yes, Bye. we are in February. Yes, February. And it's Valentine's month. Yes, one of my favorite holidays. Not gonna lie. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. So happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Yes. It's all about love. Like, yeah. who doesn't love that? I don't know if you don't love love, but <laughs> all right. Well, it's about love. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you know, we've talked before about like that Christmas, Thanksgiving, about food issues around that. So you know, same kind of things apply. If there's food issues that you're dealing with, it. That, valentine's day going halloween thanksgiving but no 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 <laughs> um then the same thing slow down relax but that's not what we want to focus on today yes let's ponder the beginnings of valentine's day i'm not sure we want to do that but let's do it <laughs> we're totally going to do that okay so i did some research for you guys and here are the beginnings of valentine's day you know like you probably heard guys say, oh, I don't celebrate Valentine's Day because Hallmark created that holiday for us. No, that's lies. So anyway, it started in like the third century, like third, yeah, 300 AD, somewhere around there. And it was a pagan festival on in the middle of um, February. And it was celebrating like the goddess of fertility in Rome. And they sacrificed animals. And then they had whippings where they took strips of the animal's flesh and blood and skin and whipped the young girls so that they could, I know, so that, uh, so that the fertility would be there for them. Because I don't know if that whippings make you more fertile or not. But anyway, so that happened. So then a couple of centuries later, somebody was like, I think we want to make this a Christian holiday. So I'm just going to say on, on valentine's day february 14th we're canonizing this saint valentine's day so there's a few saint valentine's day but most probably this was the saint valentine's day it was named after so he uh was part of the war claudius ii the emperor liked war a lot and so he had all of his men going around all the time warring 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 and the men were tired And they were lonely and they were sad and they were homesick. And so it was a sad, sad group of men. And so Claudio decided to to, not to make them happy by letting them go home, but to ban marriage. So if he banned marriage, then they wouldn't be lonely for anybody. Because, yeah, we all know that marriage is what makes you lonely or not. So St. Valentine who wasn't a saint yet, who was father. Father Valentine was like, "Mm, I'm not too into this and I'm going to marry couples that come to me. So couples that came to him, he would marry them in secret. So that worked out for quite a while. And then the emperor found out and sent him to prison and sentenced him to death. So the couples who had married him, who who he had married, would visit St. Valentine, well, not Father Valentine, Mm -hmm. and slip him notes and um flowers so through the bars and then saint valentine father not father exactly because he fell in love well he was a father but then he fell in love with the jailer's daughter and when he was executed on um on february 14th 
he sent her a love note and signed it, love your Valentine. So there we go. That's how it started, folks. So any guys out there who are being like, Shh, that's it's a Hallmark, Hallmark card. Commercialized it. Completely not a Hallmark. Movie. Wow. Because that would not that's... be a good Hallmark movie. <laughs> No, so especially no. the whipping. The whippings would not make a Hallmark yeah, movie. No, no, no. <laughs> the, wow. like, the, and really, like Father Valentine dying. Yeah, was also not a good Hallmark movie. No, so Hallmark it, it does tug at the heartstrings. That's not mm -hmm. a Hallmark thing. Mm -hmm. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness, that's a lot. Yeah. There we go. Tradition wow. formed. Wow. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Yeah. I had no yeah. idea. I didn't either. So I did some research. So there you go. There wow, I don't even know what to say about that I history. Know, I know, it's a lot. So <laughs> during your story, I'm thinking, <laughs> how in the world did we get from there to here? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. That makes sense. sense. It makes sense. Fine. And then, like, like, yeah, it, it does. You know, know. Yeah. Centuries and centuries. This probably yeah. was in the, I think it was in the 1700s. I kind of just knew this previous we, in the 1700s, I think is when it became more of a modern, like the 1700s, not you know, 1970, yeah. 1700s became more of a modern, like, here's couples, here we love each mm -hmm. other, here's here's cards, here's flowers, here's presents. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so that. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it just evolved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's and now, the evolution. But... Now we just give each other those little, like, candies. <laughs> conversation yeah. cards. Yeah, like conversation cards. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Be mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Be glad I'm not whipping you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I we need to start a whole new line of conversation hearts. percent <laughs> From now, I just made the decision from here on always. I am going to give my, because I always give Valentine's too. Like I give Valentine's. I didn't, I'm not like, hey, guy, do something for me. I'm like, we do things for each other because we love each other. So for 100%. I'm going to sign all my Valentines. Love your Valentine. P.S. Be glad I'm not whipping you. <laughs> or maybe I'm glad you're not whipping me because you're the girl. So <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, well, you know, times change. Yeah. So yeah. We're, we're modern now. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But all about love. Yeah. Well, maybe not the whipping. <laughs> but, <laughs> but even that was about being fertile and, and yeah. yeah. But but the Valentine, which was only like, I don't know, 400 or 500 AD, that was about love. And I don't think they had Hallmark Channel then. Nope, they did not. <laughs> Hallmark did not invent this holiday. So there we go. Mm -hmm. But what has become of that is yes. that for some people, it is a lovely, lovely, lovely day. For other people, it's a very painful or disappointing day and um a lot of we put a lot of expectations sometimes and I think that that's where we run into a lot mm -hmm. of troubles expecting our significant other to I do or say certain things part of the problem with this significant others in the relationship feel I think men especially feel mm -hmm. a pressure to like perform something yeah and they don't exactly know how. Mm -hmm. And so they just like kind Whatever of- Whatever I do is probably going to be good enough. Yeah, so nothing's going to be good enough. So I'm not going to do anything yeah. at all. Yeah. As if that's yeah. that. Or they'll say, I'm not going to let, you know, society dictate the yeah. day that I I show love. Yeah. But then they don't show love the rest of the time. Yeah, so. They don't pick a different day. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what you should say to your significant, not you, but someone who says mm -hmm. that, say, okay, great. That's cool. Let's pick a day. Let's make a day where we show our love for each other. It could be February 13th. It could be yes. April 9th. Yes, <laughs> exactly. July yes. 18th, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. We'll have our own Valentine's Day. Yeah, so call them all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, so I think if you're focused on doing something, like if you're focused mm -hmm. on doing something for the people you love, mm -hmm. then it's, because I've been single, I have had lots of wonderful boyfriends who have done wonderful things on Valentine's Day, but I've also had Valentine's Days where I um, I've been alone. Mm -hmm. And so I think if you're focused on showing love, mm -hmm. then that's mm -hmm. yeah, that's going to make a difference. Yeah. I think. And that's where we wanted to go today. Is that? Oh, sorry. Um, sorry. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm went, chatty. I'm sorry. I went in the direction we wanted to go. <laughs> 
All right, Johnny. I'm Johnny. I was very excited about the Valentine's Day origins, you know. <laughs> Uh, but supposedly for me supposedly. I mean I've been married to the same person my entire adult life mm -hmm. and um so many strengths so many amazing strengths he is not a romantic person mm -hmm. and so Valentine's Day has always been kind of a okay what are we doing with this day mm -hmm. um and when I when I actually finally I love Valentine's Day now and it goes right back to what you said when I started loving Valentine's Day was when I started going, you know what, this, forget the whole, oh, this is a romantic couple's day and you have to do some kind of who knows what prescribed or imaginarily prescribed thing to show your love for each other. Because again, then it's like, well, you know, mm -hmm. um, but as when I just went, no, this is a day to celebrate love. Yeah. Period. And so it's when I started focusing on not just my spouse and myself on mm -hmm. that day but on friends and children and grandchildren now I love that day mm -hmm. I love that day and this may come as a surprise <laughs> with all the things that we talk about often or maybe it's not a surprise and that would be good I generally make sugar cookies I have a really excellent sugar cookie recipe I don't make them at Christmas I make them at Valentine's Day you do mm -hmm. usually personalized it wow. was at least an initial with not a name on it so that's and i love it's it's a process making yeah valentine's cookie it's not a it's a time intensive thing yeah and so it's like you know i'll do this once a year and that's at valentine's day and i mm -hmm. love doing i love taking the time and focusing on the people that i'm doing this for as i'm doing it and it's that you know the whole kindness mm -hmm. adventure thing that we talked about all oh, the whole month of Je uh, De yeah. not january yeah. december um when we can have that kind of focus mm -hmm. then no matter what if we're if we're widowed if we're married and not married to a romantic partner or maybe mm -hmm. our partner is very romantic and we're not the romantic one and so we don't like oh but make it such a big deal um or if we're single or whatever our situation is, mm -hmm. it can be a really beautiful day. Yeah. When we. When you think about it. Yeah. Frame it the way that we want to frame mm -hmm. it. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. It's love. Like, and I was mm -hmm. telling her, like, I grew up in a family that celebrated holidays, but like Valentine's Day was a big deal in our house. And so like I'd get up in the morning and then like by breakfast thing would be some kind of gift or something and and a card and you know sometimes something for my dad but my dad always gave my mom something usually jewelry or something so like I came from a very a family that's very typical of what like what you see Tradition, this yeah, is what okay. Valentine's yeah. Day should look yeah. like anyway so I just expected that and all my boyfriends have sort of like <laughs> fallen in line you put out that energy i put out the energy of like this is what yeah. but but i don't ever i've never i never say anything like yeah. that no it's not but, that demanding it, but it's no. like oh this is this is your valentine's yeah. day energy yeah. so that's what you draw it well and i'm excited to like mm -hmm. you know usually like especially the first valentine's day together like that's always so exciting and you know you like here's the energy what are we gonna do what are we gonna you know mm -hmm. and that makes them feel i think the guys have felt comfortable doing stuff because I'm like so excited about it and you're just like okay I guess get some flowers get some jewelry here <laughs> you know so yeah. anyway yeah yeah but yeah that's fun so you can make your valentine's day look like what you want it to mm -hmm. and it can be a, just a beautiful celebration of love mm -hmm. so yes that's unless you have more this is a very brief one for you today we mm -hmm. just wanted to encourage you to you know show love to others yes that's the whole thing yep the whole thing is that it's about loving others yep. and sharing that love no matter the cost a la saint valentine <laughs> we're not advocating you go die for somebody on that day no <laughs> let's do, just be clear <laughs> no 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 death necessary but he yes. did step out of his comfort zone yeah when he's like you know what i'm not believe this yeah from you dear Emperor? claudio no. <laughs> like I'm marrying people on my own. Yeah. 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 So, Standing for love. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yep. You know, there's our slogan for Valentine's Day. Take a stand for love. Yes. There you have it. Good. All right. St. Valentine. 
All right. <laughs> Take a stand for love. Everybody. Yes. And nourish your body and your soul with yes. love. Yes. <laughs> All right. See you. Have a good week. Hey, if you want to help us grow our, this podcast that we're having fun doing, like and subscribe. And comment. Oh, yes. Please comment. We will comment back. Yes, we will. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's Tracy. If this was helpful and you'd like more, follow me on Instagram at tlastel.nourishingbodyandsoul or on Facebook or YouTube at Nourishing Body and Soul. Or you can find my website at nourishingbodysoul.com. Thanks for tuning in to Nourishing Body and Soul, the podcast. Before we wrap up, we just want to remind you that the information we share in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and is not intended for medical advice. While we hope you find our discussions helpful, we strongly recommend that you seek the advice of a qualified healthcare provider before making any changes to your diet, exercise routine, or any other aspect of your health. We also want to make it clear that the host, guests, and producers of this podcast are not responsible for any adverse effects or consequences that may result from the use of any information or suggestion discussed in this podcast. We care about your well-being, but we can't take responsibility for individual outcomes. By listening to this podcast, you agree to indemnify and hold harmless the host, guests, and producers of this podcast from and against any and all claims, damages, liabilities, costs, and expenses arising from your use of the information provided in this podcast. We're so grateful for your support and we hope you keep listening and learning with us. Thanks.